Hey everybody, it's Snail playing a new game called The Bloodlines. I'm on Steam. Thought we'd check it out. New game. New save name. Snail. Snail. Spelling is hard. Kids. Kids. Uh, I hit all of the keys. That's how I know I'm, I'm not going to be wrong. I'm just going to have all the letters. Ooh. Ready. Hey, I'm guessing that's me. I'm in a castle. Um, oh, we can be different colors. Be like a diamond, a diamond color guy. You just go to the basic. Let's give myself a little bit of color. I get in the sun a little bit. Right? Just maybe there. Ah, oh, that's fine. Body art color. I mean, green. Because tactical. Tactical there. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Um, hair color. Just go red. That's not red enough. That's not red enough. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. What is this? Hey, turn around. Neat. Okay, here we go. Uh, hair. What kind of hair do we want? Yeah. That's good. Head. Oh, we got some scars. We've been in some fights. I think so. I think we've been in some fights. Okay. Eyebrows. Um, we don't need to have one giant eyebrow. We're not we're not that guy. There we go. Okay. Hair. We did the hair, we did the facial hair. A beard. Big old angry beard. Some mutton chops. Let's do mutton chops. Why is this? What is this, though? Hold on. Beard stubble. Oh, you turn the... Oh. oh. <laughs> you completely... There's no mouth. Okay. Uh, Mid-torso size? Bulk up a little bit? No, let's not do that. Shoulder size? We're going to make him, you know, lifelike, right? Lifelike to me, right? So, shoulder size? Yeah, that's about right. Look at that. <laughs> no. So, let's just go a little bit bigger there. Okay. All right. Leg size? Well, let's do... Let's not skip leg day. Head size, I mean, I got a big old brain. You know, I got to have a big old head. Arm size, you know. We work out a little bit. Voice standard. Wizardly male. Dwarven male. I think standard is good. Voice pitch. <laughs> yeah. That's what I sound like in real life. That's what I sound like. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to normal. All right, here we go. All right, uh, how how tall am I? Pelvis size? What? Oh, it's just. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll have to. We'll need to bump that up a little bit. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to wear a belt. Uh, create character. Okay, welcome uh, to the Bloodline. Bloodline is an open-ended experience where you create the character that you want to play as. There are hundreds upon hundreds of spells and skills to unlock, allowing you to craft the exact class you have in mind. Nearly every action you do is rewarded to cater to everyone's playstyle. Want to just craft weapons and build your village? Oh, you build a village? Go for it. Want to avoid crafting altogether and focus on melee combat? No worries. Play the way you want to play. There's no singular way the game is meant to be played, okay? Right now, the game is mostly an open-world playground where you can run freely, earn experience, whatever. As development continues, more of the story will be added. Okay, please come back. This is early development. That's right. I mean, this is new. All right, this is in... Okay, what's uh, op E to open? Um... We'll take all that food. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? More food? Okay. Um, I can sleep. Am I still naked? Okay, I just brought up my fists. I don't need to do that. Put your fists away. Press space bar to jump. Got it. Okay. Uh, can't go in there. Okay. Run a total of 15 meters. Achievement. Get. All right. Okay, so I give little achievements for everything you do. Oh, uh, what? Hold E to climb up rope. Okay, I didn't know that that was a thing. All right, that was just me pressing F. Oh, jumping! Oh, you gained levels on your actions. Oh, this is like old school um, Elder Scrolls stuff where 
like every time you jumped, you got um, a, you got uh, experience points into jumping, and then you leveled up your jumping, and then when you'd sprint, you got oh, I like this, I like that, I like that. Eat a talk. Uh, good morning, Harbinger. I'm I'm sorry. What did you call me, Harbinger? Here's your uniform, freshly washed. After you get done getting dressed, my father requests that you meet him down in the armory to begin today's training. Will you be joining us today, Frederick? I sure hope so. It's been a while since we've sparred, hasn't it? Maybe you could actually beat me this time. I'd say we're pretty even. I'd say so too. Anyways, my father's waiting downstairs. Before you go, I could give you a general overview of the controls if you're interested. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I know how to play video games. This is my castle. I'm a harbinger. Meaning that I'm bringing the noise. All right, let's go downstairs. 100 meters, run for a total of 100 meters. Level up. Oh, you level up running. That's great. Running level increased to two. That's so good. Love that. What's this? Press E to pick up. Press Q to throw. Oh, can I throw that at, like, enemies in the future? Hmm, what's this? This is Clayton Barrett. Hello, Harbinger. Is there something I can assist you with? What is it you do around here? I'm the Stronghold Mage and Advisor. I'm more of a historian now. Why are you studying history? Um, it's up to me to provide you with the best plan of action in any situation that might arise. Since we have no idea when or where the Unforgiven will return, I'm guessing, okay, that's our antagonist, right? It's up to me to study all the remains of your ancestral text to find some sort of pattern. What exactly is the Unforgiven? The Unforgiven were once elves that lived right here in Udris among men and dwarves, but their pride consumed them. They rose up against the old gods and somehow managed to actually kill one of them. In the days after Alden, the first god, uh, purged the world of all elves, banished them from this realm. From what we can tell about the Unforgiven Realm, it's not a place you ever want to visit. Okay. Are they able to return? Uh, no one knows. In the past, they have somehow managed to split the dimensional gap between the realm, this realm and theirs. As soon as they have lost their touch and aren't able to... It looks like they've lost their touch, aren't able to enter our realm any longer. We can never be too sure. What's the Unforgiven Realm? Nobody knows. We've only been able to study objects that have come out of the warp gates, which helps us make assumptions as to what it might be like in that realm. Okay, I should get going then. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is, this is a neat little story. Um, we have a race of elves that rose up, killed a god, and was banished out of the the world. So they live somewhere else now, but are still able to uh, get here um, using warp gates. Okay, all right. That's a that's a some good lore. Is this the right way? Felt like a really heavy jump. And I, you know what? Let's go up here. Let's see if there, maybe there's treasure up here. And you don't go very. You don't take a long time to go up ladders either. That's good. Uh, so going down the ladders, however, <laughs> jump ten times achievement. Yet. Okay. I'm not. I don't have any clothes. You're climbing. Oh. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Hold down. <laughs> I don't have any clothes, man. Tab. Uh, inventory. Uh, okay, cloth sandals. Let's put those on. And tattered cloth sleeves. Tattered pants. Cloth shirt. Okay, I'm, I have clothes now. That entire time I was talking to that guy, I was naked. How embarrassing. Okay. Now I've got more uh, achievements. I get gold and experience for every one of those achievements. Um, hey, K. These are my skills? Okay. Now, what about uh, Tab? What was the skill book? Oh, no. That's, that was wrong. Uh, level up. Oh, okay. Look, look here. Level up. We're not going to level up right now because I want to see if there's a quest. Uh, maybe it's like, oh, you know, you, you did so good. Here, this is how you level up. Running increased to level 3. I assume that I'm running at and it costs me less stamina the higher that uh, gets. Who are you, Thomas Dornscheidt? Dornscheidt? Skite, I guess? I don't know. How goes your research? Great as always, I just received the latest batch of uh, Gryocopic stabilizers from my dwarven friends in Elder Glen. I'm trying to make a companion to help me here in the shop, just a small robot that can help with true tools, perhaps like. 
I'd like to ask you to help with my own personal matter, but if you're offering, I'd be foolish to refuse. There are a few things that I need to assemble in my latest schematics for the bot. First, I'll need a magnifying lens. I dropped the last one that I had, cracking it. The nearest place to get them is from Gearbeard Shop in Elder Glen. Okay, that's a dwarven town, right? That's what he said. I'll provide you the funds. Just go get it. Okay, I'll go get it. Dornscheid's. Oh, that's going to get me in trouble. I'm never going to be able to say that right. All right. Um, who is... A lot of question marks here. Requisition office construction. So is this... Do I build in here? Who are you? Varik Osterhut. Groundskeeper. Gods have mercy. That's just my luck. What's wrong? It's not a gust of wind came blew off my hat. Got stuck up there on the pillar. It's not coming down. I get it. Oh, here we go. We got a little basic fetch quests. Um, where it, does it show it on the map? Uh, where on the pillar? We hit M. M does not bring up a map tab. Tutorials journal. Uh, lost hat. Treat last hat. Uh, so if I hit this, does it? Okay. No, it, that's just. Okay, I see. Just blocks it out of there. Um, what pillar? Point at, point at said pillar. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Where is it again? What's well, up there on the pillar near the bridge inside the castle? Oh, <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, let's let's do this, some of this climbing thing that it was talking about. How did I? Okay, so I guess I have to cross the bridge. Let's just do this real quick. Climb back up here. I'll uh, I'll fast forward this. All right, so I got up here and took all my stamina. Um. We're gonna see if we can gently fall. Gently, gently, gently. Okay, we can't control the way we fall. I'm gonna pick this up. Got it. Gently fall. I did it. Gentle, gentle fall to the ground, and we're we're down. Here's a hat. Here it is. Thank you so much, Harbinger. You know what? It would mean the world to me if you kept the hat. You want it? No, please, you take it. If you insist, I suppose I should only hold I should hold on to it since my daughter's made it for me. <laughs> Talk to you later. I'm a I'm a benevolent lord. That's your property. You pay me enough in taxes. Greeting Harbinger, was there something you needed? Level three. Uh, what do you do around here? I'm a groundskeeper. Okay. Gotta be going. Oh, uh, okay. I need any help? To be honest, yes, you see lots of goblin mold has been growing on the castle walls. What is the goblin's mold? Some fungus that drives goblins nuts. They love the stuff. When you pick it, it releases a pungent order that's sure to attract goblins. I get rid of the mold. Okay, I'll be back. Um, you know, did the mage... Let me fast forward this, because I'm going to see if the mage has a quest that I just wasn't smart enough to get when I was there. Oh, there was a quest. He's going to teach me how to how to read. Um, the best way to learn is not only do I have pyromancy and Cryomancy spellbooks here. So find a bookshelf, the one that has piques your interest, and bring a book to any of the desks here in the library. Set this begin reading the runes. Before you begin, just remember to take your time. Um, so I find a press E to interact. I don't even know what is it. What is this book about? Uh, do I put it down here? No, okay, that's not what we're supposed to. Be. Is there a specific book? Just put that book back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it picked up the one I already had. I'm going to sit down and read this book. Cryomancy, okay. Uh, Storm Breeze. So... Uh, S and T. Oh, you have to do it fast? Okay, so... Oh, you get a chain. Okay. Uh, M. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's R, so we need BR. BR and then E would be... I mean, they look... Oh, except that. That's wrong. 
Uh, B is B, and then R is R, and then M is E, <laughs> naturally, of course, right? Um, so there's the E's. Where's the... Where's the B? Oh, there it is. And then Z is that that weird one, which I will never find again. Oh, there it was. Uh. Oh, I missed that one up. Oh, come on. That's an H, I guess? Right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so... And then C is that... Okay, so uh, I is this one. Okay, what does the L look like? They look like R's. Okay, so... Um, C, uh, C, H, I, L, L, S, right? No, no, that's not the S. This is the S. Okay, S. Oh, man. Ugh. Okay, so we'll just do half of it. <laughs> we'll just do half of it. I may just speed this up. Oh, I did it. Ah. I can't spell. <laughs> Too many eyes in there. Bitter crack. What is the E again? M's? R is... C is that weird... Uh, bracket. No, that's not right. What is A? F. F that points down. <laughs> and K is Pac-Man. Ah, come on. Man crash. Mana crash. Okay. Um, M is what? Oh, this one. Okay. N is uh, mana. And crash is this, and then R is it's up here. Uh, A is this one. Uh, S is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. And then H is uh, this one. There we go. I get one right. Oh, still. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, Put chapters on so you can skip all this. Just go, hit the next chapter. Just hit the next one. This is D on the keyboard. That's not where D is. Oh, here it is. Old Storm. No, that was the wrong one. All of the mana from the current room board layer has been exhausted. You must rearrange your room board to draw more knowledge from you. Okay, let's get out of this. Okay, I am out of the chair. I did it. All right, I don't know what it, what, what, I mean, what? What happened? But I did it. Good job, me. All right, we got. Uh, we're running a little bit faster now. Go over here and get into some combat. Arbiter, good to see you. Been meaning to speak with you. If you have the time, what is it? I'll tell you a quick story. Come on. I was visiting a family in London. As I walked the streets of Helgasker, I overheard a conversation that spoke of the Harbinger bloodline. They doubted the divinity of your blood. Uh, they simply said it's simply an old folk tale. Recoiled and stopped and gave it some thought. What reason would they 
What reason have we given them to believe anything else? As I sat with my family that evening, I asked the general consensus was regarding the Harbingers. They told me that most people either believe the Unforgiven are gone forever and are unafraid of them returning, or that they don't believe they ever existed in the first, first place. <laughs> I know who the Unforgiven are. I shouldn't have said that. How can people believe that? I thought the same thing. How can such a cataclysmic event simply be forgotten? But again, I tried to see it from their perspectives. It has been a thousand years since the last Unforgiven invasion. The Harbingers to them are nothing more but a remnant of one's proud royal family. And it makes sense, of course, they would think such things. How can we blame them? And such a wide range of emotions. Okay, all right, okay, all right. So we're going to have to prove that I'm, I'm worthwhile. Train, fight, explore, help people. Make your name known. Let's test your metal. Look. What would you like? Give me a great sword. Where do I get it? Um, hey, pretty strong already. Do I have a great sword in my inventory? Equip. Oh, wrong button. Resume. All right. Have you taken care of that? Not yet. They're just beyond the moat. Okay. Yo, you press. Okay, I can holster the weapon. What's going on in here? You got a you got a job for me? Oh, mining tutorial. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, typically, mining outcrops can be found near the hillsides. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Harford Lake, okay. This, you know, this was made by like one guy, right? He did all of this by himself. I want to destroy the stronghold to its formal glory. Uh, how can we destroy the glory? Rebuilding. Thanks, Pembroke. Okay, maybe I just need to talk, actually. You devil with potion crafting. I'm interested. Sure. I'll give you good leaf, bowed and dust. Okay, I'll go try it out. Uh, where is the table? Let's begin some potion crafting. Um, guild leaf and bone dust. Potion name. I don't know what it is. What was it? Was it? What is it? Is it bad? Where? Do you believe it crashed? Oh no. Still, still working. Okay, that was weird. Um, let's look at what it does. I made a potion. Custom potion. Potion effects restore health. Restore health. Okay, that's a that's a big resume. It's a big, uh, uh, health potion. That's a 50, 50 HP. 50 HP potion. So it's guild leaf. And, oh, I don't have it anymore. You know what? Let's do guild leaf and bundle of reeds. And then let's see what it what happens. Oh, it tells me it tells me what it does, right? So this is thirty-five. This is thirty-five twenty. Oh, big potions. Okay. So I can put potions on my hotbar, right? Discard? No, I don't want to discard. Oh, where'd it go? I ate it. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. How do I equip it? You don't need to hit escape. All right, so I need to turn in that. About that potion you want to make, I made it. It's been broke. All right. I hey champion, I am. It sounds delicious. I'm interested in learning. Okay. Cook in the oven behind me. That's, that's an oven boy. I tell you what. Cook that bad boy. Some vegetables. It's a very simple stew, right? They don't make it. Okay, they're not a... So if I do this. And this. And potatoes. And carrot. 
What is the... What, hold on. Cook the basic stew. So let's go to the journal and look at the basics of cooking. Uh, combine uh, a cabbage, carrot, and potato. Cabbage, carrot, and potato. Okay. That's all. Wah! How did I get... How did I get in here? All right. After a small crash, we're back. We're cooking our stew. We got it. You know what? Can I just cook the meat? Like, just, just meat? Yeah, just cook that? Okay, how about some salt? No? Uh, well, it was just some wheat. Maybe a sandwich? No? That's some wheat. No? Okay. Well, we don't, uh, we don't have... Oh, bread? Some salt... Salt mutton? No? Um, how about herring and bread? Fish sandwich? Do you like some beans? Uh, some garlic? Wait. Fish and some garlic? No? Uh, we're gonna need a lot of uh, more recipes. Here, let's talk to him. How's the basic stew coming along? I did it. Alright. I didn't cook that recipe automatically. Never hesitate to experiment with ingredients. Here's a test of wheat. I want you to turn the wheat into a loaf of bread. Here's a creator that require four flour. Okay, four flour. Got it. Um, one, two, three, four. I have bread right there. Wait, what? How do I make flour, though? Alright, bake a loaf of bread. It's going to take four flour. How do I make flour? Uh, he gave me the ingredients. He said to create a loaf of bread for flour, which I should be able to do with the ingredients he gave me. So, maybe is it two wheat for flour? Ah, uh, it is. Okay. Two wheat for flour. Okay, one more. Oh, no. Get that out of there. All right. Now... All yeah, right, bread. I make bread. <laughs> Me make bread. Oh, uh, I did it. Bread. You can do it. All right. I got some bread. I got some stuff. And what do you? You have more quests for me? Let's see what you have in stock. Ooh. There's money. I have 155 bucks. Oh. Do I just stick with this sword of mine? Basic greatsword damage 50. Let's look at what I have. Damage to copper claymore. A heavy copper claymore, nothing else to it. Do I just buy? Hmm. I just buy this basic sword. It's 250 bucks, but I mean. Oh, an arrow. A shield? I could be like a knight and shield boy. Oh, yeah, a knight shield boy. I think I'm going to spend the money. We're just gonna rock with what I've got, right? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Not yet. I'll take care of them. I'll go, I'll go smash goblins. Got it. I've got a mine five coal outcrop outcrops. Hello, puppy. That's a big dog. Uh, mine five outcrops as well as uh, deliver goblin mold, which would will require me to do that probably offline. Because nobody wants to watch the boring quests. Hi. Hello, Harbinger. I hope you're well. How can I help out? Uh, do we need decorations? Sure. Okay. Uh, return to me when you built five stick fences. Okay. Press, press tab. Uh, and construct decorations. Open press tab. Okay. Out crafting, maybe? Decorations? Lamp posts? Well. Okay. Fences, walls, stick fence. There we go. Uh, left mill, left mill to select, right, oh, Z to rotate. Oh, okay, I see. Where would you like this fence? <laughs> I 
Like this? I don't think I need to put that up. Was that good? Did I do good? Are you happy with me? Huh. I built those fences. Great work. Could you explain more? Uh, if you place a lot of engineer themed items, it's more likely that dwarves. Oh, graves and tombs. You'll get ghostly visitors, dark magic users. <sighs> nah, I, nah, I'll figure that out on my own. I, I want to go slay some goblins. We gotta slay some goblins. Let's go. The Into the adventure begins. Oh, this poor... What has happened here? This is my... Oh, whoa. Library. This... How has this become just nothing but ruinous? Kill goblins. Yo. Whoa. Settle down. Ooh. What? What's up, goblin bros? to me. Oh, okay, so, oops, I pushed the wrong button. So let's, uh, can I break this down? It has no business being here anymore. It needs to be destroyed. Okay, well that was some, that was pretty neat. Um, we're gonna have a good time with this. Um, so, I think that's a good introduction to where we're at. A little notice board here. Oh, we got a notice board. Oh, you name it. You can. Oh, this is yours. Look. Look at all this. Look at all the stuff you can do. Look at the necromancers, druids, warriors, blood mage. Oh, fishing. Oh man. There's. There's a lot of stuff to do in this. We're gonna have some fun. Um. But I think. Uh, until then. Can I get, can I get a picture? No. Can't get a picture of him. Just won't. I can't look. I can't kinda. I can't. Oh, no. Look at that though. Pretty cool, right? Alright, well, you know what? This is let's see if I get oh yeah, look, look, look. Cool camera mode. You're not supposed to play it like this. But really cool. Anyways. Um, that'll do it for this time, and we will see you on the next one with uh, more Bloodlines. Bye.